Soul Trap was happening. I'm Big Cooter, aka Cool DMG Baby. Welcome back. So, today is an interesting topic everybody on the internet been waiting for. We're about to drop it. Let's get straight into it. This is dating in Thailand. So, if you're here for dating in the Philippines, if you're here for dating in Vietnam, anything else, we'll get to those. But right now, it's dating in Thailand. Hi. So, why do you up? By the way, to my Thai followers, to the Thai soul tribe, to the Thai supporters or anybody in here who is interested. Cop. All right, man. Dating in Thailand is such an amazing thing. Dating in, Th dating in general, the idea of dating, to be dating anyone, one, you have to be aware that you're actually dating yourself. You're discovering yourself. Every time you date anyone, you're discovering more about yourself, what you enjoy, what you may not enjoy, what you're willing to do for love. What is your perception of all of these cool things, right? And it's just something about when you fly over those waters and you get that stamp in your passport, and you know you can take care of yourself and you feeling good. You in a new area, you in a new environment. The epigenetics is popping off. You just feel good. You just wanna you just wanna do people right. You just wanna be loved. You just wanna love on. Some people are in their best bag or in their in they best habitat when they on vacation. Man, come on now. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Anyway. That might happen overseas, whether you're a man, woman, or anything in between. Coming to Thailand, you're going to get it. So dating costs in Thailand. All right, let me break it down to you guys. So typically, when it comes to a cost of a meal here in Thailand, as a general meal, you're eating by yourself. That meal is normally anywhere between $2 and... You know, six dollars. You know, if you up here on a vacation and you're on your bougie bag, you may spend fifteen to twenty dollars. You may spend seven hundred baht on a meal. But normally a meal is anything between sixty-five baht and two hundred and fifty baht. And just to get the math right for everybody, ten baht is thirty cent. So almost around three hundred baht. Or excuse me, one hundred baht is almost three usd dollars so let me just round it up for that for those measures when it comes to a date in thailand thai women are very 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 intriguing they let they kind of they let you take the road they let you take the lead uh, as most women do but they also tell you what they looking for Every woman, I believe, does. But we're talking about Thai women because we're in Thailand right now. We're living in Pattaya, Thailand, by the way. Pattaya. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Don't beat me up in the comments. And she don't want no flowers. You know, the flower people might come around. Y'all might be on a date. And the flower people come around. And, she, and the flower lady looking at you like, yeah, you know what time it is. You better buy her some flowers if you want to look like you that man. And then you look at like, uh, uh, okay, oh, this little lady, she got some little trinkets and shit. And then the Thai girl that you with, she looking like, step away from here. <laughs> or, I mean, she's probably calm about it, but no, nah, she, she really not looking for you to buy her flowers unless she really enjoys flowers. This, we're all individuals at this point. So we're, 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 talk, we're talking about the mass majority. They rather you spend the money on something that's more direct with them. And I dig that too, especially if you got it, especially if you was gonna do it anyways. Like, if you was gonna do it anyways, if you was gonna direct that energy towards something, why not it be something that's directly, that's specifically and directly benefiting to her or to him or to whomever you're dating here. So dating costs. It's always when you're eating alone, a meal is like 200 baht, but when you're eating with someone, it's like, 1500 baht. I was talking to a woman here before. Shout out to that woman. She's not getting the shout out by name. And our meals used to come up to like 1500 baht. 
And you go, okay, you pay it. You do it. Know I'm saying. But every day, every day that adds up. That adds up. Why are we spending $30, $40 on a meal here in Thailand as if we're in America every day? And it's like, mm, it's not always about the cost of the meal. You can get your desired experience when you know what you're looking for. We'll spin back on that later on in this live, in this series, because that's when you know what you're looking for, you can get that, you're that much closer to your desired experience. So the dating here in Thailand you're going to need to come out the house with a dub. A dub is like 700 baht. That's on the safe end. For real, for real, if you got wisdom and you got game and you know people and you know where to go and everything, you can come out the house with less. Or a thousand baht. I'd say when you're going on a date here, if you're not already having the details planned and knowing the average of how much the elephant um, sanctuary is going to cost you guys and how much the bulk rides and including tips and including you know the in-betweens and the night market runs and all of that bring about 2,000 baht 2,500 baht and that's when you're on your playboy and if you want to be big on your playboy you can spend $300 you can you can take that 10,000 baht out the go ahead give her that rent money just matter of fact just put it in her hand Hey, yeah, y'all ain't pick up gang, pick up gang. <laughs> Yo, so dating apps here are significant to people getting played. I had no idea that men would be so successful on Tinder here versus in America. In America, you, you know. A guy feel fortunate when he get his match up in America, but here it's like every man is bing, 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 bing. like if they turn the Tinder notifications on, it's gonna sound like a little beatbox. It's gonna sound like a Nokia beatbox song. Like, yeah, it's popping. Um, interesting enough, I downloaded Tinder and I didn't have much success with the app, but. Then again, I only went on there to network. So my intention was to just spread awareness within so much um, looking for someone. And that's what we'll get into with this specific part of the series. Thai women, most of the time, most of the time in here in Thailand, the Thai women are on the dating apps because they're looking for someone to actually date, you know, to actually be in a relationship with at some point. Most of these women, you know, they, they grow up with the mentality and attitude preparing themselves for motherhood or for um, loving on a companion or you feel me? You feel me? So sometimes when you got a whole bunch of guys that's coming on for the quick time, but you catch a real one and she's not even a working gal or she's working, but she take care of the business regardless you taking care of your business shout out to you regardless of what it is that you're doing to take care of your business um especially all y'all mothers out there the intentions can get confused so now we talking about you coming on for the short time experience but you catching a woman who really ain't into that or maybe you're the guy who's coming for the long time experience and you want someone who's gonna bring you home to their family and you just keep running across the short time short time ladies like hey i'm here for the night what's popping you don't know how many times i hit with that somebody hit you with that when you meet them on the streets tinder all of that but out of all the dating apps they have there's one that's probably recommended the hottest this is no free sponsorship but bumble they um I, they talking about sign because Bumble, the woman has to holler at you. So she's going to come. She's going to step. And you feel me? How you present yourself, she's probably going to expect you to be something close to that. So, you know, step. Or you can be somebody like me who I'm living in the moment of now. Most of the people that I meet, I meet in person. I mean, of course, the power of the internet. Shout out to the Soul Tribe. Shout out to TikTok, YouTube. You know, the power of social media has allowed most of us to be able to see each other and network and, and speak. 
but we live in action in the flesh. Like that dating apps are extremely convenient for somebody who's looking for um, their time to be measured and what they can do with that measured amount of time. You know, for me, when I moved there, I was like, hey, it's, it's on and popping at the grocery store. It's on and popping at the beach. It's on and popping anytime I open my eyes. Um, I really don't need the dating apps. But that is where you can get some motion if that's what you're looking for. And again, all type of motion. Ty Friendly is also in that bunch, but hey, y'all didn't hear it from me. Ty Friendly, there's an app called Ty, Ty Friendly. You, if you see me on there, um, hey. <laughs> Non-working gals, non-working girls. Okay, so when I say non-working girls, am I talking about the girl who stays at home and takes care of everything while you go get the money? Well, there is a woman who will prefer that experience as well, but that's not exactly what I was saying. Non-working gal is a woman who is not working the block. She's not in the um, business of sex work in any form you know she's just she's she's running her hustles and you know over here in this particular part of southeast asia though pattaya does not um represent all of thailand by any means because this is a city where people come to do business and pleasure specifically i would say that i meet many women who are non-working and even if they were, you'd still respect them. You'd still be able to see that she's taking care of her business. She's doing what she got to do. Um, you may be a good time. Or you may be a, a new outlet into a whole nother reality. Because if she's growing up in an environment where she's not really attracted to... And then she see you... Hmm. And she goes, damn, that was everything I wanted in life. Hmm. You feel me? No, I'm talking to shit. I'm talking to shit. Yo, pro. Honestly, non working, working, in between, undecided. I'm judging you by the content of your character. I freaking love 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 the feminine energy of the women here and is that set up by design of course just like it's set up by design that men and women are fake beefing in america we love y'all shout out to the ain't nothing but love shout out to y'all but the design here in asia for for the for the feminine characteristics is very very pleasing it's very very refreshing um to know that somebody's waking up and thinking about you anywhere in the world is exceptional. It's exceptional. Thai women and dating. These ladies will do. They will. These ladies will not only do what you what you thought you couldn't receive. But they gon' do it genuinely. Or do it so well that you don't care if it's genuine or not. Did you hear me? Because, like, man, man, man. You guys, can you hear me? Do it so well you won't even care if it's genuine or not. So it, it, leads, it leads to the question, well, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? You know, I've met women who were very, very, very assertive, but very feminine. And I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? And I've met women who were very, very, very nonchalant and chill and won't even look you in your eyes but completely interested in all it took was, you know, the moment opportunity for you guys to have a briefing exchange of energy. And now 
you know about all the amazing qualities of <laughs> uh, how her mom created this beautiful branch of love. Like, come on, like, there's there's gonna be times when you're chilling with a masseuse on the beach and y'all really sitting there discussing the quality of life and what time is and measuring love. There's gonna be times when you just sit in there getting your face stuff and then before you know it, that's not, nah, that's Patreon. <laughs> that's Patreon, no cap. But when it comes to Thai women being feminine, it's definitely verified. It's definitely verified. I'm not saying that any other women in the world aren't feminine. And even for the ones who aren't, shout out to y'all. Shout out to you for being a woman on this planet in general. You feel me? We just talking about the topic of Thai women being feminine. They got that shit. They got that shit. They do that. I love the language personally. I love when they hit you with that car. I remember when I first pulled up out this month, I was on YouTube vlogging at a market. I had a lady ride past me. She double turned back. She said, oh, shoot. She put her hands together in between her driving and bowed at me and said, Kah. I'm like, oh, that's how y'all get out? It's my, first, it's my first night in Bangkok. I'm like, oh, that's how y'all get out? I think I had the Bantu knots in my head, too. But yeah, man. Feminine women here in Thailand is, is really refreshing. I noticed that a lot of men who, who want a feminine woman, you know, for many reasons in America, they probably didn't fit the description of the role for the, of the masculine man that the woman had wanted there. But let me tell you here, when you, when you come here, don't bring all that trauma and all that BS over there. Don't even take it back home for real. Heal that shit. Heal, deal with your issues as a man. Deal with your issues as a man. You know, if you want women that you want to trick, be real with yourself. If you want a woman that's out of your caliber and she's out of your caliber because you're not willing to be the vibrational match of what, what she will be attracted to, be real with yourself, you know. Um, so don't think like just because you come to Thailand, you about to get every woman that you want all because you just come up with some paper or you a new face because it's like it's not really like that. It could be like that for it, it, until it's just not like that. And to be looking at the when you look at the women, when you look at the feminine nature, when you look at women on this planet, like um, objects and property and things, it gets really, really, it gets really, really wicked. It gets wicked. Hold up. This. Y'all know what time it is? It's time for the. I'm in Patsy. Hold up. Y'all know what time it is? It's time for. Zabri. single young black man here in Thailand. It's cool as fuck. Every day I walk out the house, I feel like I'm Michael Jackson. I feel like I'm MJ. I'm either Michael Jordan or Michael Jackson. Regardless, we don't miss. Miss what, Big Kuda? What you talking about? We not missing the shot. We not missing the hit. We not missing the move. And I'm not talking about the move out there in the world. We're not talking about the party. We're not talking about the bag of the girl. We're talking about, come on. We're talking about the moment to be present. Like, 
You got to understand that you a different type of mother. You got to know who you are and then be real with that version of who you are and see how you can help him, how he's helping you or she or the God body. You know what I'm saying? You got to tap into that one. See, I didn't, I didn't tap into that one here. I've been that one. Oh, damn. And again, if you think we talking about popularity, if you think we talking about even money, if you think we talking about the materials, you you you, you got to catch up. We gonna get you there eventually. Hold on now. This episode is sponsored by Soul Trap. Shout out to the Soul Trap and the DMG. Oh, Hanna. <sighs> Seriously, like with the support of you guys, it's been an amazing year. Yes, I have overcome some crazy challenges that you probably will hear about in story times. And yes, I've had some amazing moments that videos could not capture. In 2024, we gonna make sure we capture the vision entirely. I'm, in, I'm opening up for an official cameraman, somebody who's gonna be rolling with me around the planet and getting all of this motion so if you feel like you fit the description if you feel like you want to be a part of the media team or if you feel like you somebody that big cool to need to link with in your country hit us up man at cool dmg -E at gmail.com yeah everything in the description let roll Oh no, 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 no. Check it out. Pay to play. Pay to play. Pay to play in Thailand. You better add like you know. Big cool to talking about the topic. Pay to play in Thailand is so player. It's and I'm not talking about the the idea of you paying someone to be with you or the idea of someone taking money from you. I'm just saying. It's, a, it's acknowledging the transfer of energy. Everything is a transfer of energy. Everything is a transfer of energy. This is one of the most basic instruction transfers of energy. Cause you could be kicking it with somebody who really don't want to be around you. And you think you got it figured out. Are you trying to figure them out? And really it's just, a you just, a the time, you feel me? But when it's for the money, it's for the money. I'm not telling you to go do it. I'm telling you that you know what the f is going on. So you you not you feel me? I got a question. How much you spend on a date in America? Let's say. Let me let me know if I'm wrong. Type in the comments if I'm wrong, y'all. You going on a date in America? You feel me? Let's say one of y'all ain't got a car. One of y'all ain't got or y'all ain't got transportation. You feel me? You gonna pay fifteen for the Uber? Fifteen dollars for the Uber. That's on the low end. Let's say you going out to eat. Going out to eat. You are gonna spend thirty four. You probably gonna get some drinks too. You are gonna spend thirty four. You gonna eat a good meal. What's that? Then you gonna pay another fifteen for the what? The Uber. You're at sixty dollars right now. You win sixty dollars. This is just for, this is just phase one of the date complete. To do what? To go buy some za. Ting. Your your twenty to thirty on your za. If you even doing that, or if you got your cup in your hand. Oh man! Actually, the way that y'all do dates back in the states is it ain't the same as me. So I ain't even. I gotta really think of this shit right now. It's not even like an ordinary day. Like we should've went to the wine bar. Scratch that, we went to the wine bar. We... 
Oh man, what I'm going with with this bro is, you was you was probably gonna spend sixty dollars on a date. Her, she letting you know up front, like, hey man, like, I I think our experience is worth sixty dollars. That's up to you to go that route, brother. Me personally, I ain't really in that. Yeah, I ain't into that. I ain't into that for so many reasons, but I ain't nagging it. I ain't judging it. Like, bro, like, first of all, the sex worker field is a very, very, very intelligent thing. It's 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 omnipotent. It's healing in a way. Um, people just have no idea the power that sex work has in helping um, bring about our manifestations and desires and our everyday basis. And maybe here pretty soon, we'll have a school opened up for you guys where we can get into the real of the creation and manifestation and our power, our God powers. Ooh-wee, but pay to play out here in Thailand is interesting, bro. So check this out, there might be a block you won't be walking down. You walking down the block, right? You see a bad and like she's bad you know she's a ten, she ain't under the under again. You feel me? You might walk past. She might give you that eye contact. She look up, you look down, you go, oh, she say, hmm? You say, what's how? Now y'all talking, she like, yo, um, trying to get out of here? Like, what's how? I know about a short spot we can stay for only 200 baht. 200 baht, you do the math, you're like, that's $6, blah. Why are we going to, where are we going for $6? Why it cost $6 and what's up? Oh, but now you remembering what's going on. You remember you in Thailand. You remember you in Pattaya. You remember you on the block, when the block is hot. And she just told you that she know where you can go to make it hotter. What you gonna do, chill? She gonna throw a number out there, blam. But you gonna say, oh, I think that's too much. Let me calculate that. You just gonna pull your phone now. You gonna do the math conversion on your... Hmm? What you gonna do? I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I just had to dive you into the world real quick. <laughs> oh, man. First time fame. Listen. For a lot of you, this is going to be your first time being famous. This is going to be your first time being a superstar in your life. And mother you deserve it. Like, you shouldn't feel bad about that. You should not be upset about that. You should not be embarrassed about that. And if you wasn't expecting it, it's probably coming. I had no idea it was coming. And it came. And when, when, you're, when you're that, when you come here... And these people adore you because you have this such loving magnetic energy or you have this way about you. You feel me? You're magnetic. You're living magnetic. Uh, it may be overwhelming. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Sometimes you're going to get nights where people are screaming at you and they're not screaming like, I want to hurt you. I want to take your leg. They're saying, oh, I want to see that leg. I... <laughs> You feel me? So it's not always that either. Sometimes it's the very, very subtle, beautiful gestures of courtesy. Sometimes it's you get a little bit extra food on your plate. Sometimes it's them pointing at your shoes and asking to take pictures with you. Sometimes it's being invited into someone's restaurant to try this meal. Sometimes it's so many other things where it's just like, damn, bro. You love it. You got to love it here. You got to love it here. And being your first time in fame, you going to don't you go who you going to be? You going to be you? You going to be you? How are you presenting yourself on this side of the world? Huh? Cuz some of the guys go crazy. They get lost in the toss and obsessed. They uh hey hey a thousand dollars. Yeah, uh, uh, $1,000. Hmm. $1,000. Okay, let's get into the next phase. 
We're talking Pattaya, Thailand, by the way, folks. Do not be upset. This is not talking a whole representation of Thailand. This whole beautiful place is freaking fire and they're so different. Right now we're focused on Pattaya. The question is, does every woman cost? A lot do, but it always costs them as well. It costs you, it costs everybody time. And I'm not trying to make this super deep, but for real, it costs her time to get ready to, to, to be with you and to bring her best energy. It costs you time to spend your money and time and be interested and open-minded to the idea that y'all can hit it off. It costs everybody time first. And, or it costs nothing at all. So it's either nothing or it costs you something. So, do you have to pay every woman here? No, that's insane. No, no. There, there, there's some of us here who, who walk and you see love and when you see love and you are love and you feel love and you be loved, you get loved, you get loved. Like there, I, me, I come across the, um, you know, the circumstances where a woman may present that to me and the pay to play, you know, and it's like, Hey, I respect that you gonna get it and I know you gonna get it, but it's just not right here with me right now, you know? There's been times where them ladies came back, spent the block and was like, yo, I just thought that you was like a short time travel guy. Like I freaking rock with your campaign. Like what's, what's good? We, and it'd be like, oh yeah, for sure. And we really both be good people. We both really fucking hit it off. We both really vibe like a love locked in. And then I've been times where a woman be like, what you mean? Nah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put in investment. You gotta put in investment. Which leads me to this next um, comment is, why do y'all compare Thai women to American women when you gotta pay in both, both land masses? Like, I feel like a lot of men are comfortable with coming here to Thailand and, and taking care of their woman because it's extremely affordable. So they don't have to think twice about the money because the women in America would be, I mean, I'm, I'm not comparing them, but they're lovers too. They are magnificent actually. And if you just letting your woman know like, hey, I, I got us right here. And if you can't, that's all. Then, then, then that's not that's it. that's not that scenario. You feel me? That's not that scenario. See, what I want people to understand is there's something for everybody. My right is not your wrong. And everybody has a masterpiece canvas to someone. You know what you are interested in when you come here may be extremely unique to you. Come here and be you, come here and live like you, come here and grow into that version of you. But all, everybody ain't gotta pay. And, and if you find yourself being a guy who, who, who you always have to pay for everything with the women that you're around here, like everything, I hope you enjoy your experience. Now, there's probably some reasons why you got to pay, but you feel me? We not about to bash you like that. Not in front of a soul tribe, but shit, come on now. On to the next one. <laughs> Chill. Am I a passport, bro? I honestly don't know entirely what a passport, bro, is. I... I gotta do some research, you feel me? Because me, I don't identify as anything really. Well, I do identify as one thing, you feel me? God, God, God presence, God connection, God, God energy. And of course my, my names, my natures. 
But yeah, man, I'm just here. Just, I'm just traveling this world because it's a birthright. I'm here. And that's no, that's not even making me different from anybody in Passport Bros. Because I know a couple guys who identify as that. And them is my ninjas. My A1, 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 my Thailand day ones. For sure, right on. Um, I'm, I just don't, I think, I don't put myself in the titles. It has nothing to do with, you know, what they are representing. And I probably fit in the category of that. And in some manners, or most manners. I believe they are men who use the right to travel the world and hopefully share information and keep each other on point with knowledge or navigating the world. If, if, if it's more, it, you have to make sure that that's just what that is or the people who are like, because you'll get wrapped up in people and then you'll see a person that you don't like and you'll make them the representation of what this is. And it's like, no, you just, you just took more into it and you allowed, like, you allowed yourself to be persuaded. So I keep an open mind, but at the same time, I'm Big Kuda, AKA Cool DMG. I'm traveling the world. And shout out to whoever traveled in this world who rock with me. And you got that real magnetic energy and you, and you, and you, your intentions, your intentions or a vibrational match, we probably gonna run into each other. Peace on that, peace. Is there real love here in Thailand? Honestly, yes. There's a lot of real love. There's a lot of real love. I see real love displayed in so many ways from the people taking care of the dogs to taking care of the beautiful blue lotus random pods everywhere to eating on the beach with your family at night, cruising and then allow allowing a stranger walk past to come and try your food and try to meal with your family. To the woman, to the to the woman getting her foot massaged by her husband while they both sit on the park bus. To a woman planning a surprise birthday party for your homie. Yeah, there's love here. Again, what is your idea of love? What are you looking for? Are you waiting for social media or someone on the screen to paint that image for you? Or do you really know what you want to experience? Do you really know what you allow to take? Do you really know what turns you on, what makes you click? Because my perception of all of this could be a nightmare for you. Or it could be the best day of your life. Real love is probably what we carry that makes going to any world, any country, any space, any time, lemonade. And pretty soon we gonna have to do a part two about Phuket because I've been seeing what's going on in Phuket lately. I'm jacking the vibes, I'm feeling it. Patia's been real, 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 real cool. If y'all see me around Thailand, don't act bougie, say what's good, soul tribe, dap me up. Y'all know we taking pictures, we catching vibes. I really, really enjoy the conversations I have on the outside world. Like, thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all for, for being with a brother, you feel me? For rolling with us, for being sane, for being confident, for being in tune. Next, we need to talk about Thai women geeking about you. Cause that was about fame was fame. That was Thai women geeking about you. Look, there's been times where me and my homies walk in the club, and you would just see a girl scream, and she'd scream, and she'd look down real quick and grab her phone, and she'd point on her phone and point at you. 
and her and her friends all start looking at you and then other people start looking at you because now some and it's all while you walking into the club so you still trying to vibe to the music but you realize everybody looking at you then a four foot tie security guard walk up to you and he looked you up and down and then he put up his fist and he fist bump you From there, depending on how far you can make it to the wall, you probably ain't got your chest grabbed like two or three times. What I'm talking about. Now, that's a whole lot of physical energy. I know. It could be way more dialed down. Like you said, like we said, it could be way more dialed up. This is right there in the middle. Because there's other blocks where it's so hot. You just had to be there. Mm, 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 mm. Anyways, that is it as far as dating here in Thailand. Let me know what I should talk about in part two of dating here in Thailand. And let me know if you got any questions that I could brief on what I already spoke on. Y'all let me know what y'all into. Let me know, baby, let me, let me know. And Hope you continue to enjoy this channel again if you did not watch this video from youtube you're tripping cool dmg <laughs> how that is